Hi, I'm Bobby Daly. I'm a cinematographer and editor at Digital Alliance, a small production company outside of Chicago. I've been uh, trying to find a timecode solution that works with the variety of projects that we do. Uh, sometimes it might be a commercial with the full crew and a red or whatever. Other times it's a one-man band situation with one person juggling three DSLRs and recording audio also. I've been struggling to find something pro enough for the first scenario, but easy enough for the second scenario, and I think I finally found it. This is the dish. It's a timecode box that gets its time by syncing with satellites that have very high precision clocks, and they're all in perfect sync already. Timecode usually requires a lot of babysitting, and you need to jam devices together to synchronize them, uh, and you also need to make sure that they're not drifting apart over the course of the day. With DISH, the spacefaring nations of the world are doing all that work for you, so you just get to plug it in and start shooting. There are really two DISH boxes. There's the DISH and the DISH Pro. The DISH is for cameras that don't officially support timecode, and it works by embedding the timecode signal in one of the audio tracks of the camera. Setup is super difficult. You hook up an eighth inch uh, audio cable to your camera's audio jack, and plugging that into the dish is what powers it on. Once the green light is flashing, then you've got satellite signal and that's it really, it's ready. It also has a built-in mic for scratch audio. The time code goes to the left channel and the mic goes to the right. The dish pro uses the same satellite signal, but it has a BNC port and hooks into traditional time code devices. So you can hook that up to your audio recorder or pro camera like you would any other timecode generator. The Pro adds a frame rate selector. I'm going to choose 24.00 right now because that's what the regular dish uses and I want them to match. In the future, there will be a way to change the frame rate on the dish uh, with software. Now I can just shoot what I need to. I can use pro cameras, consumer cameras, or both. I can start and stop the cameras, power on and off the cameras, and the dishes don't drift at all because they're constantly checking themselves against the satellites. The clocks are also uh, good enough on their own to stay accurate if you lose signal intermittently. I've been using these indoors and haven't had any issues with that at all. I'm also excited about how easy it is to deal with in post. I can use DaVinci Resolve, even the free version, to sync all this up and then either edit it there or send to Premiere Pro, which is what I usually use. All I have to do is import the footage to Resolve. The devices using Dish Pro are already set, uh, but the Dish camera still has the timecode in the audio track, so I simply need to right-click on those clips and select Update Timecode from Audio, and then its uh, timecode column here will update to the satellite time. I select all this stuff and right-click, selecting Create New Multicam Sequence from Selected Clips, change angle sync to time code and hit create. Right click on that newly created multicam clip and choose open in timeline. You'll see all your audio and video laid out nicely. Now, you know, maybe at this point I want to go to Premiere Pro. So I go up to file, export AAF XML. But when I hit that, nothing happens. The trick is to go back to that clip again, copy everything inside it, then make a new timeline and paste everything into that. Now that export AAF XML uh, option works again. For Premiere, I'll want to select FCP7 XML v5 files.xml. When I import that XML into Premiere, everything will be ready to go. So the dish is available now from their website, dish.tc. I've already ordered three of them for myself. Uh, the Dish Pro is coming soon, but a little later. Ari from Dish was kind enough to let me borrow a couple pre-production ones so that I could test them out. He's also answered a bunch of stupid questions that I had, and is just all around awesome. Uh, I hope uh, somebody out there finds this video useful. Thank you for watching, and good luck with whatever it is you're working on.